Hello everybody, welcome back to Undertale. Last episode we messed around with some dogs, witnessed a bizarre dog couple getting married, puppies petting other dogs, and weird stuff. Um, messed around with our skeleton brother some more. Um, yeah, and now we're here, wherever here may be. Anyway, let's start our timer, which has been reset for some strange reason. Right, it's the only way I can make sure of it, right? I mean, I forget what time we start on. I'm not using dual monitor, so... An egg timer is the best I can do. Anyway, let's go. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. That's one way of doing it. On the floor inside is a box of pomer raisins. Yeah. Aware of dog, please pet dog. By all means. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't even know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. On a side note, you're just standing here doing nothing either, but hey. Alright. Uh, let's see, if I start down here, which I didn't actually want to do yet. There, 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 there. Yeah, okay, this works. Not really that much of a puzzle. Let's head down first. I mean, I don't know what's over there, right? It's a snow papyrus. Cool. It's a lump of snow with the word sands <laughs> written on it. Yeah, he's really the real go-getter, isn't he? Okay. I don't have to do this again, right? No. Seems to be the way forward then. It's a snow puff. What's a snow puff? And this is a snow puff. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. It, is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Uh, there's still be gold inside this. What is this? A snow puff. That's a snow puff with a tail. No, it's a doggy. Doggy. That. That's terrifying. <laughs> that sound. Dude. Let's just enjoy the music for a bit. Uh, <clears throat> yes, greater dog, check. Greater dog, six tech for defense. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just a play. Seems to be sleeping now. Whoa, 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 jeez. Greater dog is watching you intently. Pet, beckon, play, ignore. Uh, greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh, hey, you're changing color. You can't do that. Great dog is waiting for your command. Okay, we'll back it. Oop! Oh, shoot. So this is where it turns... Yeah, okay. Great dog, beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Flecking slobber into your face. jeez. Man, those... And we're dead. Well, there's the first. Not to give up just yet, Steve. Stay determined. All right. Well, it was bound to happen eventually, right? And we're not that far behind, are we? Yeah. All right. Doesn't save. Oh, shoot. Can I reset my? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can fall off. Okay. Probably have used some items there, but yeah, well. Whee. 
Yeah, well, that's no what a weird shape. Yeah, we know this, but I'm doing it for the gold, you know? Yeah, we gotta do it. Our health is at full now, I'm guessing, because we started a checkpoint. It's gotta be right, yeah. Alright. We know what's up with you now, not Snowpuff. <sighs> Alright, beckon. You call the radar dog, it bounces towards you, flecking slobber into your face. It didn't turn blue. It's seeking affection. Pet. Red dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. I mean, that's a pretty big dog though. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. And it wakes up. It's so excited. Yeah, I know you're. Man, it's doing a lot of damage, isn't it? Weird dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Play. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Weird dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. That's probably a bit too much, but. Now, dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Ugh. TLC. What's TLC? I don't know. Let's just uh, eat something here. We'll take the monster candy. We eat the monster candy, we recover 10 HP. And that attack is coming really quick, isn't it? Queer Dog wants some TLC. Um, add it some more. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. I mean, considering it's three times my size, I'm probably gonna get crushed over this. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Mm, my movement doesn't seem that slow, actually. But pet capacity is at 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over its legs hanging in the air. Rare dog is contented. Ah, Ruby show my. What happens when I pet it again? Tummy rubs are forbidden. No tummy rubs. Rare dog is contented. Ah, we'll spare you. You won! Yay! Oh. Uh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh. mm. Bridges usually mean continuing what we just went through. Well, let's head back. Try this first. Wait, was it? Ah, oh, the dude's gone. Gitford confronts you. You're looking kind of festive and creepy. Check. Gitford. Some teens decorated as a prank. Get this off me. Alright, well, oh, what the. Uh, oh, right, blue. Um, Gitford tries vainly to remove its decorations. Uh, okay, let me help. Good for it. Undecorate. Remove a child's photograph of Snowdrake and its transparent. That's a little better. If I just stay in the middle, I'm not gonna get hit. Huh. Get for it slightly less irritated. Oh, you can actually see the things go off of it. Cool. Remove a striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Ooh, that's another attack. Good for it. Slightly less irritated. Remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Sure. A weight has been lifted. Good problems have been taken away. Yep, he's white, as I predicted. Well, yellow, but you won. You earned 0 XP and 20 gold. <coughs> We're not sliding on this. Is it that Toriel's signal? Is this the way back? It's a door. Oh. I have to punch in some kind of code. Mm. 
The things on the floor don't seem to do anything. <sighs> well, maybe we'll figure that out later. I mean, I'm probably giving up on that way too quick, but... Usually they hint on what you're supposed to do, and this one they're just leaving you straight up in the dark, so... Bridge it up! I was right about the bridge being pro- oh. <clears throat> Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Why is there a dog? <laughs> oh, poor dog. Well, I mean, he doesn't seem too terrified about all situations, so he's probably fine. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Just do it! Well, let's hold up. Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. You're not gonna do it. You're not. Come on. That, uh, that doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to feed the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. Hey, you got a soft spot for me already. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Along with the dog. Who may or may not have been part of the trap. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what my bar is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, yeah, blue stop signs and all that jazz. Welcome to Snowden. Shop. Ah, and a checkpoint. Cool. Is that a, such a friendly town? Filled you with determination and... Yeah, we'll save. Is that the same box? Yeah, my items are in there. Okay. Oh, didn't expect this. Hello, Traveler, how can I help you? Oh, uh, let's do a chat. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital. You don't look like a tourist, so you're here by yourself. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided they liked the cult and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or you can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life's the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? That's a bleak outlook you got, but... Uh, bye. Tough glove. I don't want that. Armor. Hmm. It has abs on it. Sure. You can't use a tag, but we can use armor, I'm guessing. Thanks for your precious. Alright, I think heals three twice. Let's get one of these as well. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if 
I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Huh, so you can't sell things, huh? <laughs> Actually, that makes sense, doesn't it? Whatever. Bye now. Come again sometime. Mali bandana on the somewhere is well, abs drawn <laughs> drawn on it. Okay. Uh well I think we could just equip this, right? Mm, yeah, I can use other battles. You equip the manly bandana. Alright, that should mean damage taken is a bit lower. In Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's Premier Hotel. One eye is AG. Now, why should we do this? I mean we get our health back from saving. Let's do it. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Okay, they're making music now. Well, music might be a bit uh, of an exaggeration. It looked like you had a great sleep, which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Happy pills. No, okay. Oh yeah, 30 out of 20. Cool. And we actually didn't end up paying. Okay. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. This is my little snowman, just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Bun 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 bun. Alright. Awful teens tormented the local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's traditional to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Well, that's one theory. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah, that's the way this thing goes. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. What? That's politics. Mm, I don't know if that's politics, but it's definitely something weird. Oh, it's all the dudes we didn't kill. Cool. Look at this thing. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help. I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. So what happens to monster food? Just disintegrates into nothingness or something? I don't know. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Onto their butts. <coughs> Jukebox is broken. For centuries, we'll never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Eh, I bet you do. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. He already did. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Hmm. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Sure. Put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm really going to make out with a fish. Oh, so that's your thing, huh? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <clears throat> 
Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch his stuff. Understandable. It's a bit rare that your cloth doesn't catch on fire, though, but hey. What's our timer saying? 30 seconds? Alright, well, we'll go save. And we'll end the episode. Can I beat the clock? Well, not before I end the episode, I think, but... That's such a funny time filled you with determination, yes. And that's gonna be it for this episode, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. You free should probably commenting, liking, and or subbing. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone. And with five seconds on the clock left to spare, how brilliant is that? Listen. There it goes. Bye, everyone. <clears throat>